this is a real human brain. This is the front of the brain, the back of the brain with the spinal cord hanging down. And this is how it would be positioned inside of my head. And when you look at the brain, it's obvious that the two cerebral cortices are completely separate from one another. For those of you who understand computers, our right hemisphere functions like a parallel processor, while our left hemisphere functions like a serial processor. The two hemispheres do communicate with one another through the corpus callosum, which is made up of some 300 million axonal fibers. But other than that, the two hemispheres are completely separate. So as everybody here knows, um, this was really a watershed moment for Ted and for Jill Bolte-Taylor. That was one of the earliest Ted videos to go Viral, mega viral. Almost 15 million people have seen that TED Talk today. Um, it's my great honor and pleasure to welcome Joe Bolte Taylor back to the stage. Everybody, nice to be here again with Ted. Yes, I'm sorry. No, it's it's. I think everybody is waiting <laughs> yeah. with bated breath to hear yeah. you. Um, that talk was, of course, about your personal story, surviving a stroke. Mm -hmm. um, at the time, you were a neuroscientist, and mm -hmm. you became your own research subject. Mm -hmm. um, what happened after that talk? What happened to your life? Mm -hmm. uh, within the first three months of delivering that TED talk, uh, it was posted, and it went totally viral. And within three months, I was chosen as one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential people in the world. Nice little girl from Indiana. What do you do with that? Uh, I was interviewed by Oprah as the premier guest on her new Soul series, and then Penguin Books bought, purchased the rights to my stroke of insight, and it proceeded to go immediately to the New York Times bestseller list. That was the first three months. So, um, so, so Ted, Ted, you know, to, I just say Ted and I went viral together, and it's been a lovely experience. Yeah, changed my life entirely. Uh, um, we got some questions from TEDxers um, around the world. I've got two of them here. Um, one from, it's from uh, Peggy Stefan uh, from TEDx Excelsior, uh, or Peggy Stefan. Um, she asks, how has your experience in suffering a stroke changed your research? You are, of course, a trained mm. neuroscientist. How has, it, how has it changed that? Well, um, more important than that, when the stroke happened and I shifted completely into the right brain and I had no left brain, that meant I was no longer going to be in the lab because I no longer had a left brain and I lost all of my science knowledge. I had to go back and relearn that. And what I learned along the way through the process of growing up more right-brained is I'm much friendlier now than I used to be. <laughs> so, so although I love cells and I think that neurons are the most beautiful thing in the world underneath the microscope, me being in a lab is no longer the best place for me. So I have completely shifted my teaching in the medical school into now I'm teaching on a more global level. So, uh, so, so everything has completely shifted for me. You um, lecture, you work with kids. Tell, tell us what you're doing now. Well, I keynote all over the world. I keynote for medical organizations, any professional organization, corporations. It's like anybody who has a brain would like to have a better idea of how to get your brain to do what you want it to do. We do have two very different ways of perceiving the world, one more open and expansive and one more detail-based and on a schedule. And really, for me, everything has shifted away from being the scientist in the lab to being able to come in and help people understand and we do have the power to pick and choose who and how we want to be in the world. And every ability we have, we have because we have cells that perform that function. So I try to help people recognize when are you already in your right brain experience? When are you in your left brain experience? And how can we create more of that middle path? How do we really find that balance between the two? So it, it's, you know, I think our first job as human beings in the world is to love one another. I think that is our primary compassionate way of being. It is the essence of our right brain. And when we come into the world through that compassion and that love and that openness, then all the details, we can, we can play together. We can approach one another with curiosity and compassion. 
I guess that's a bit of a window into where you're headed next. Where am I headed next? Really, yeah. really into the children. I started a not-for-profit, of course, Jill Bolte Taylor Brains, and、uh, I care about educating the public about the resiliency and the beauty of the human brain. I care about the children.、Uh, my fa- my、uh, not-for-profit is working with Goldie Hawn and the Hawn Foundation. They have a beautiful program called the Mind Up Program, which is actually teaching children about the amygdala, about the hippocampus, about the different regions of the brain, and helping children. Children have some emotional accountability, and with emotional accountability comes a level of higher、uh, cognitive accountability. So I'm doing that, and then there's a movie on the horizon, and if and when that ever happens, it will take you on that journey in into who you are as a whole, into who you are as a right brain. It will take you there, and it will let you make your own decision. Would I come back, and what would I be like if I were a little bit more right-brained in the world? Wow. Before you go, any、yeah. last thoughts? You know, I'm 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 really grateful to this organization. TED changed my life in 2008.、Uh, when that TED talk happened, I was allowed to be vulnerable. I opened my heart. I went out on the limb in that presentation, and this organization, you held me in that beautiful space of safety. And together, we made what that TED talk became. And I will always be eternally grateful because my life has changed. It's given me the opportunity to really be who I am in the world. So、sure. I'm thankful. Sure, Thank you. Thank you.